than reaction-based characters and still having, you know, all of, all of that be available to him during high-level matches. Alright. Ooh, uh, I think something was wrong or their, their controls were messed up or something akin to that. No contest. Let me take the, the little bit of time I have real quick to uh, update the character color model. And there we go. We are all ready to see Steph Pokemon versus HHIG Rally. Here at LFG Weekly number seven. Winners round four. Thank you all once again um, for, for tuning in and watching the, the amazing stream for those of you who are watching. Uh, we're up to 12 viewers right now, so everyone say hi in the chat. Say Ryan is your god. Ringo, Ryan Ringo is your god. Um, all that kind of nice stuff. Make me feel a bit about my poor licensing. Uh, here we go. Steph versus Rally. Sticking with the tag, simply R. Steph, an amazingly skilled Pokemon trainer we've seen many times before, makes his way up to, uh, up in the winner's bracket very, very far, very often, very consistently, and Rally doing the exact same thing. Um, I believe there, there's a, uh, a very good chance that Rally could make it to uh, win, winner's grand finals, win, winner's semifinals this time around. I believe it's going to be grand. So we'll see here. Ooh. Rally with the, with the down airs. Um, now that Steph has switched to Ivysaur, I believe he has a bit of an edge over Rally as he starts using his um, vertical movement a little bit more. Um, his down B's and up B's. I mean, not his down B's and up B's. His uh, down airs and up B's. Sorry. His nair is doing alright, but in general, Hit's nair is the same exact thing, just a little bit stretched out more in front of him, so he's got some more range on um, Steph going for the down air spike there, not exactly getting it. And a problem with fighting Hit. Uh, we, we, in any circumstances all, is that Hit greatly, greatly, greatly benefits from having multiple jumps. You can give the man five times in a row and six times he'll still come back to the stage. But uh, we, all, we also see that Hit, w with his multiple jumps, can, uh, can afford to arrow onto the stage to cover his uh, recovery on the ledge as well, if need be. And, once again, just trucking across stage with the Nairs. Now that Charizard's out, anything can happen, but I feel like anything that Charizard would have gone got there was snuffed out by that one single arrow, uh, the one single arrow that put him in that long hit stun before he touched the ground. So we'll see. Dash attack two down air spike into up smash. Not gonna kill this time around, but leading into arrows. And what Rally was hoping was another up smash on top of that. But good DI caused him not to die from Charizard. Actually, has it, having the, the jump power to leap under Charizard to jump straight down to begin with. So amazing skills that it has and forward smash. I don't think this is gonna be a clean 3 0, but it is definitely close to it. Which is crazy to think because Steph is an amazing player. By no means would anyone be able to consider Steph free. He is such a good player. Oh, nice! Steph catching the le ledge recovery with his down air. Just real quick here, I'm going to rearrange the names uh, so no one is confused. Almost taking the final stock there. Uh, not quite getting it, but dash attack, closing it out, and then oh, Charizard, Flare Blitz, nice. 
Oh, and he jumped off. He he ran off. He uh he said, I ain't having this anymore. I've already got my stock, so I don't feel like playing the game. Question mark. But uh you know, can't be that mad. We're still a great match. He probably had a reason for it. So rally taking game. Stop the battle! All right, guys. Pokemon check out trainer. What's going to be happening? I believe in May, very soon. Be sure to register. It's on Smash. Like me, Slash Pokemon. Check that out for the huge event. I believe it's ten thousand dollars in pop bonus. Be sure to check. That out. Sorry about that, guys. That's for those of you just tuning in. Um. Welcome, my and name is Ringo, event, and for those of you tuning out, my, my, my name is still Ringo, kick it off the and I am going to today at LFG Weekly number 7. Here we are at in Game 2, winner's round 4 of LFG Weekly number 7, Steph versus HHIG Rally. HHIG Rally has agreed this time around to not mess around at all, he is only playing his main, uh, this specific tournament around, he wants PR. So, we're gonna see a lot of hit, which is awesome because we don't see much of his hit at all. He, he'd much rather experience with other characters during a bracket. He's not a very serious bracket player until he starts playing hit. So, because he's got a reputation to uphold the whole game on his back. He, he is by far probably one of the best, if not the best. And then Steph, of course, no pushover himself either, playing an amazing Pokemon trainer against Rally, almost bringing it back last game as well, but an unfortunate random SD. I don't know if that was on his part or if that was a mistake. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see the answer to that this time around when he uh, brings out his Charizard. Oh no, Charizard was killed by Rally down smash. Let me tell you something. I actually, I actually did double blind. I know the information. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Awesome stuff. Rally hovering over Steph. Steph not really knowing what to do. He doesn't have a lot of moves that can get up there until he switches to Ivysaur. And as soon as he switches to Ivysaur, I feel Rally will jump down and start down airing him because uh, Ivysaur has a much bigger hitbox and he's much easier to hit with. Hits down air and sport lines. I believe that's kind of what he was wanting to bait out there. Ooh, Ivysaur. Got to be a little bit risky there going down, way down for the down air. And uh, not necessarily something you want to do very often, you know, but it's something you're sort of forced to do in a way because you can always be on the stage. Down air, sharking under the stage and taking Rally's life. But, like I had said before, um, it's sort of a, 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 a necessity. It's, it's, it's something you don't want to have to do because you know he could just get him as easily as but it's something that you're forced to do because if you, don't, you know, if you don't have the kill power to show him off the sides or off the top relatively easily, he'll always just come back. He can come back from the very depths of the stage with just his up E alone. It, he doesn't even need any of his multi jumps to do it. And if he has a multi jump, he's pretty much guaranteed recovery. So, Steph here probably having figured Rally out a bit. Rally retorting right back with the forward smash. Arrow to arrow to arrow, but Steph still making it back to the stage, putting on a 12%. And Rally close out the stock as quickly as possible. He needs to. If he doesn't, he's going to suffer a lot of heavy damage by the hands of Charizard. And dash attack taking their both. It is an even game now, what it seemed to be in Steph's favor just a few moments ago. Here we go. Rally Nair to Nair to forward air, almost almost grabbing Squirtle, but we saw the, the, the Pokemon change right there. And Pit doesn't really care about all these uh, Razor Leafs that are coming out. That's one thing that Steph could probably do better with not doing this often against the specific matchup. Pit can just afford to jump over them and jump over them and jump over them again and again and again. He does not care right now. There, two arrow. He's taking all of the stage control. He owns everything right now. And he just has the ability to keep being it. Not only does he have the ability to take people off the 
stage easily, but he also has the ability to go off stage and try and edge guard them. Uh, or, or even he's pretty decent with his ledge trapping as well, um, as long as he's close to them when he does it. And Rally being a very uh, reaction based character just makes an awesome pair up for both his character and himself. And that's why he is it's somewhat of a local legend, if you will. Ooh, Steph going for the back air cheese right there. That that might have even killed if it sweet spotted. I believe that kills most characters at around 60 off ledge like that. Maybe even earlier, but it's sort of light. Rally always just dipping just under Steph. Ooh, Rally also calling out the flare blitz there and punishing accordingly. Nice game from the two players. Uh, looks like this game ended up back in Rally's favor. And uh, good job to both players. That was an amazing set. MKLeo saw that coming. He was like, yo, I know the range of this move. You know, straight up anime style like Aizen or whatever anime characters have glasses. And he was like, I know where you're going to go. You, know, you saw Bleach. Yeah, I did see I love that. Cool. I was, it's a terrible story, but here we go. Game number two, we're going to see what stage <laughs> Tweak is going to counterpick on. And do you think he'll stay the DK? Um, it's a dread of fight. Tweak has... I don't think so. I think he's definitely going to But switch. I don't think he wants to go Wario. I don't know. Really? I think he'll go the Wario he anyway. He talks about how much he does not like.